in this video, I'm going to save you a whopping amount of time by allowing you to set up your social media posts for the year in a few minutes by using ChatGPT and Content AI and then scheduling that content to multiple social media platforms so you don't need to think about it for the next year. Let's get into it. From your Google Sheet, you want to go to Extensions, click Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and this will open up a marketplace where you can download different apps. And we're going to put into the search box, GPT. The first one that usually comes up is GPT for Sheets and Docs. And we want to click into this one, GPT for Sheets and Docs. And we're going to install. If you've got a Google Workspace, you're going to have two buttons. If you've got a normal Google account, you'll only have one button here. Once we've installed this and we connect it to API, which we'll look at in a second, all you have to do to make this work and to have AI generated for all of the different cells for your Google Sheet, you need to put in equals GPT and put in some content and it will automatically generate lots of content for your business. So we'll click admin install saying you're about to do this. It might take 24 hours for it to install correctly. Hit continue. Usually it does happen straight away. We want to grant access for them to be able to view and edit and update everything through our Google Sheets. I want to give this to everyone in our organization. You could give this to one person or just myself if you want. We'll agree to terms and conditions, hit finish. That will download the app and within a minute we will have the app installed and we can find it in our add-ons. So we'll close this, hit close, go back up to extensions. Now we have a new option, GPT for Sheets and Docs. Most people will get an option in this menu saying, add your API key. I've actually installed and removed this in the past so it doesn't display here. So the next step that you need to do if you don't see it in this list is click launch sidebar. This will then display your open API key where you can enter it in and we'll jump into open AI to get that API key. Now we then go to openai.com and we log in. Open AI's homepage is not displaying the login button at the moment. They must be at capacity. So if you don't see that, what I recommend is you go to Google and search for open AI API login, then click on the first option, then create a new secret key. If you have not used OpenAI before, all you need to do is put in your billing information. This will allow you to then have direct access to OpenAI. And OpenAI is what powers GPT-4. You will go to billing and you'll add in your payment method, which will allow you to be charged. And then what you want to do is go down to API keys, click create new secret key. I've called mine Google Sheets plugin, create secret key. This will now give us a line of code. This is the only time it's going to be displayed. So we're going to copy that, hit done. And that's all we need to do in OpenAI's website. We are going to go back into the Google Sheet. And on the right hand side, we have already opened up the launch pad, the sidebar, and we're going to paste in that code. Hit next. This is now confirming and connecting the two tools together. For this example is we're going to create a annual calendar of annual special events for Glassful Media. And we're going to create those social media posts. To do this, what I've done is I've gone to ChatGPT and I've asked for a list of annual dates that are important in Ireland. We received back this list of dates in table format. So I've copy and pasted these dates into Google Sheets. So we've taken our list from ChatGPT and I've put them into the first two cells. We have the name of the date. I've put in the date for the moment as well. and. I'm going to use the exact same prompt for all of these. So I've written act as a digital marketer, create social media posts for these annual dates in a tone of educational or funny, include two hashtags and icons, target audience of Ireland, small business owners. I'm going to copy this and paste it for all of the different cells. And now all I have to do is click equals GPT brackets, and we'll select our prompt, which we're using the same prompt that I just wrote a second ago, comma, and our value we're putting in as the annual date, close brackets, and that's now going to generate some AI content. It's going to connect to OpenAI on its own, and we'll have a tiny charge in relation to generating that content. I'm going to first click on the cell that I want, and I'm going to drag it down from the bottom right corner, that little circle there, and I'm going to let go. And that's going to generate all of the content for all of those special days, which can give us an annual piece of content for each of these annual holidays. And in a second, I'm going to show you how we can schedule all of these out within a few clicks. We have nice texts 
and emojis and hashtags and some unique content for each of these days. And we're going to paste this in. So now we've generated 12 different social media posts that would be able to be scheduled out. These will be perfect for Twitter. For other platforms, if you wanted to have a video or an image, we do need to add that in separately, but we'll have a look at doing that now in a second. Now we'll go back into the sheet and we'll update all the dates. We have the dates updated for all of these pieces of content. We'll get rid of the prompt and my own prompts for the dates that I wanted. And we're going to get the content and we'll paste it in here. So we could leave the content like this, which would be fine. They won't have any images attached to them. I have removed one or two posts for dates that I didn't think were appropriate for our business. If you want to add images in, we're going to go to an image in our media library, which would be uploaded to our website or to our software. We'll click get link. We'll jump back into the document and let's post in the image URL. So we'll just put one in here for the minute. Let's get rid of all the other content that we don't need from the template. Hit save. Let's go back into our tool, back to the social media planner, hit upload from CSV. And now we're going to upload a file and we will paste in our file, hit next, and we can select the social media platforms that we want to post these onto. So we'll hit Twitter. If we added images for all of the different platforms, then we could add in the content to all of the different social media platforms. For the minute, I'm just selecting Twitter. If you want to post it to all of your platforms, you can click on the main button here or manually select which one that you want. We could send it for approval if we've got a manager who we want to confirm that these social posts are correct. We hit process CSV and this starts to generate the CSV and schedules out the posts. Okay, great, that CSV has downloaded. So now let's go in and review and let's see if we want to add in more social media posts that we want for different social media channels. So each of these lines we can see are the different posts that we created, so we can expand it. And let's say celebrate this St. Patrick's Day with your small business. Show your Irish pride and get creative with your marketing. St. Patrick's Day small businesses. We have an image in there already. You can come back and add in specific images for this. We can see our preview on the right hand side. Now we can go and we can add this to all of the different platforms that we want to. Again, if we want, we can fully edit and update this. We could have done it in the CSV. We can change our image if we're not happy with that image and put a separate or different image or video in there. Put that one in for the second. We can add a website, a blog page. We can put in a special offer and allow people to click on a button on the posts as well. And there you have it. We're scheduling social media posts for multiple platforms in a few minutes. If you're looking to use this software and to get started, either get in touch with us, schedule a call, and you can get a 14 day free trial. If you want to go directly in and use the software yourself, we are doing a strange thing as a digital marketing agency. We are using a tool and pulling the wall back so you understand what tool and where we are getting the tool from. If you want, you can use the affiliate link. We would really appreciate it. Otherwise, get in touch with us. All links are listed down below and we will set up and manage these campaigns for you. Thanks and talk to you in the next video. I've been John. Yeah.